morning, thousands of people are expected to pay tribute to the last survivor of the USS Arizona attack during the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Lou Conter was hailed by President Biden as a hero for his actions tending to the wounded as the battleship was sinking. He died earlier this month at the age of 102. And people from all over are expected to pay their respects as part of a memorial service that will later this morning in Grass Valley, his hometown. Okay, case our thieves, Leticia Ordaz, live in Grass Valley with more on how the community is remembering him. Good morning, Taryn Jodra. This is going to be an emotional tribute, but it's also one filled with pride for a man who did so much for our country. This is the church where this memorial is happening a little bit later this morning, and his family says Lou would have wanted everyone to come out, so that's why they have it open to the public this morning, and people from all over the region are expected to show up to pay their respects. The last known Pearl Harbor survivor passed away on April 1st, surrounded by family and friends. But last fall, KCA 3 was lucky enough to have been invited to lose 102nd birthday party in Grass Valley. And boy, was it quite the party scene. Lou made it a point to give back his entire life. And he was only 18 when he enlisted in the Navy. His family and friends say it was very impressive that even after he retired, he attended remembrance ceremonies every year into his late 90s when he could no longer travel to Hawaii. So this morning at 1030, there's going to be that memorial service service here at St. Patrick's Church on Chapel Street in Grass Valley. The police department is warning of road closures. They also say it's very challenging to find parking in this area and traffic will be impacted before and after the service. If you live in the area, you should know that the road closures will be in place until about 1230 this afternoon. Reporting live in Grass Valley, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 News. All right, thank you, Leticia. After the service, there will be a procession to St. Patrick's Cemetery on West Main Street between 1130 and 1230. We are told uh, any sidewalk along South Church and West Main will be a good viewing location.